All right, if we take a look at Blackboard for Learning Plan 7, that's what we just covered. Um, we covered Chapter 9, Typesetting in Illustrator. And your next project, Project 3, is um, an event poster. So you have all this week, next week, Tuesday, my in-person class is having the whole day as a work day with their work due at noon, but you guys, I'm allowing to have all day Tuesday, so it's due by midnight on Tuesday at night, and I'm just going to pop down to the Dropbox and make sure that that's indeed what I've coded it to be. So Tuesday night at midnight. Um, so there'll be no new lecture next week. We'll be just working on this midterm project. So what it is, is right here. It's an event poster. I want you to think of this as your midterm test. And much like in Photoshop, this is giving you a chance to really showcase all of your illustrator skills, the best practices, everything we've learned, organizing and naming layers, um, using type, using color, etc. Um, you are going to be creating a full bleed 1117 poster. Now what that means is when you're setting up your Illustrator document, it is 1117, but you need to add the bleed in the artboard. And if you don't remember doing that, look back in your book. We need 1 8 of an inch of bleed all the way around. So 1 8 on the left and 1 8 on the right is 2 8 <laughs> which is equal to a quarter inch. So 11 and a quarter inches wide by 17 and a quarter inches tall will allow you, or that's what the bleed will add to it. Now when it comes time to actually print these, we only have 1117 paper and it can't print to the edge. Um, no home printer can do that. So what we'll do is we'll just scale it to print on the 1117 paper but then we would actually trim it down with the paper trimmers so that it looks like a full bleed, so that the color goes off the edge. So the event is up to you, but I want you to make sure it lends itself to this project. So maybe do a Google image search for festival event posters to get some inspiration. I want you to think of things like Summerfest, um, Country USA, Jazz in the Park, Bastille Days, and I want you to get some fun ideas. So. This is an Illustrator project, no images. Everything you're doing is hand-drawn, and it is type and color and gradients and all sorts of cool things. Use type kit fonts only, and maybe I should rename that Adobe fonts. They've changed their name 700 times, but I want you to only use the variety of fonts you can find through Adobe, because if you have one on your computer that I don't have, it's going to be a problem. I want you to get in the habit of using Adobe fonts. I want you to showcase your skills in all these areas using shapes, paths, transforming artwork, using the pencil or pen to draw out some unique shapes. Think of applying color. Think of those color guides and color harmonies that we learned about. Do not squiggle in your color. Let me give an example up here. Um, this banner is not a shape. And then they took a brush and squiggled paint on the inside. It is a closed shape with an orange fill. Okay, this is a closed shape with a color fill. It is not a bunch of color squiggled in there. Um, use gradients, use blends that you learned this past week on your own, maybe some patterns. I want you to apply text and I want you to do effects with that and paragraph styles, text on a path, envelope work, different things like that. Be smart with your layers. Organize them well and include naming state, uh, naming conventions so that other people can use this. You're also going to include an artist statement. I want you to explain to me what you did and why. Um, talk about your color choices, your type choices, any cool things you did like type on a path or warping or gradients or whatever. Your job here is to dazzle me, so tell me how did you dazzle me? Uh, the artist statement is worth an additional 10 points. And again, I want you to think of this as your midterm in Illustrator. No test, just do something. I will attempt to find some examples and put them in here, but I believe hanging on the wall outside of the Mac Lab, if you're ever on campus, I have a variety of posters out there. 
And I do believe a couple of those are from last year from this project. A lot of people did music events, um, which I think was pretty fun. So have fun with this. Show me all the cool things you've learned. Make sure you have the sizing right. Make sure you have the bleed in there. And if you have any questions, let me know. But this will be due um, next week. No new lecture. Tuesday is still a work day on it. But for you guys, it's going to be due by midnight. The nice thing is that's going to give you the rest of the week to breathe. Um, no new content in Illustrator. And it also happens to be the same in Photoshop. So once you get your Monday, Tuesday projects turned in, you'll have nothing in those two classes to think about for the rest of the week, which is kind of a nice break as well. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Oh, the rubric. almost missed that. It's right here. So if you want to see how you're going to get those 50 points, I mentioned 10 is the artist statement, and the others come from... Here we go. Um, you're grasping the content concepts and you're using critical thinking skills. Obviously, I'm not giving you a lot of direction here. You know how to manipulate handles and segments and lines. It's really heavy on text. Those are just five points each. Using the text tools, character and paragraph styles, warping, etc., is really important. Applying color using fills, gradients, patterns, things we learned last week is important. And a random 10 points just on, you know, does this contain detail and rigor to be possibly a nice portfolio sample for you? And is this quality work demonstrating to me everything you've learned so far? Your artist statement or designer statement needs to be detailed, complete, no typo, typos or grammar issues. So really explain to me what you did and why. So have fun with it. I'll talk to you later.